Today, we are reviewing the Smart True HEPA air filter. Humvana. Wi Fi smart control, 22 decibels. Designed for larger rooms. We're going to use this in our basement. Let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we get. Okay, let's go over a couple things that I like. There's a handle right here and a handle on the other side, which makes it easy for carrying around. That is a big plus, in my opinion. Here, you can see the air sensor lens is inside of this little compartment. Let's see, slowly. You're supposed to clean it. Oh, sorry guys, the camera's, it's so high glossy, the camera was having a problem. But you're supposed to clean that every two months, and it says how. We're gonna go ahead and close that up. What you're gonna do when you first get it is you're gonna lift this off this is your breathable little plastic mesh and you're going to go ahead and take off the plastic from the cables and you want to go ahead and pull out the filter. This is the filter. Take off the plastic. A lot of people leave this on because they don't understand they need to take this off. This is not to protect. It's to protect your filter while it's being transported, but it's not supposed to be on when you actually install this. For those curious, there is the fan in the back. You just simply put this back in, make sure it's aligned, and then go ahead and snap this back into place. It should easily be the metal, should go down, let me see here for a second. Let's see, it should go down like this. If it doesn't go in, then you have it upside down. And on the front, it just simply shows the logo. On top here, it's going to go through a whole bunch of settings. And by the way, guys, you can download the app and all that fun stuff right through the manual. The manual tells you how to do all that stuff. Here it just shows you open the filter, replace the true HEPA filter by pulling out the tabs. Uh, yeah, it just goes over what we just showed you. Here you have your buttons and modes. It's a standard two prong outlet, so it's not grounded. Here we have power. Your indicator light will let you know the air quality. There's on full speed. You can of course set it on automatic if you want. Timer and also night mode. Night mode basically it just drops the speed down and turns off the lights and stuff. You can wake it up and the power. We're going to go ahead and install this. Okay, as you guys can see, this is the app. You can go auto, low, medium, high, sleep mode, uh, on and off, display, off, timer, schedule. You can name it. Um, as you guys can see, it tells you your air quality. You can add multiple different ones. Um, you can use Bluetooth with it. So we're going to go ahead and set it up with Bluetooth. Now we're going to go ahead and put it in our basement and uh, see how the air quality changes from our regular area to our basement. Okay, being down in our basement, the air quality seems to be the same, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, I am curious about blowing dust or something in it a little bit just to see if, uh, if it changes. So we're going to do that. We're going to do it, put it on medium. And I'm going to see if I can shake some dirt or dust. All right, give me a moment, guys. Here we go. Just curious. There we go. All right, we just blew some dust into it. See if it changes. There. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. It actually changed. Oh, my goodness, my friends. Oh, look at that. So I'm actually shaking dust. You can hear me hitting with my sock. I put some dust on my sock. Now let's go on high. Oh, look at that. Look at it change. Look at it actually absolutely change. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Now we're gonna leave it on high for a little bit and see if it goes back once it pulls in enough air. That's incredible. That is proof it works, my friends. Put it on auto. Okay, on auto, when it senses bad air, 
it automatically goes ahead and runs high. Okay, we're going upstairs now. And we still maintain connection with it. That's awesome. That's incredible. I just wonder how long now it would take for it to register that, you know, the dust and stuff is gone and the air is better. We'll see. I probably won't make you guys wait. What we could do is we can, let's turn it off. And now let's turn and wait. Let's turn it on. And let's see if it changes. Um, I'll, I won't make you guys watch this part. So I'll pause the video for you guys. And I'll let you know and see how long it takes to change. Okay, after about two more minutes, it changed to moderate. And now it's at moderate. So anyway, it just goes to show that it does work. We're going to clean the sensor just because we artificially, um, you know, put dust there. So we're going to clean the sensor. And what I found the easiest is just a Q-tip. But yeah, we're going to clean the sensor. But just, we, we had to test it out. Oh, there you go. See, now it's back to good. And then it drops down the speed of the fan. But yeah, we're going to go clean the sensor. And yeah, I love it, guys. I love it.